Have you ever wanted to add a level up system to your game but didn't understand the math behind it? Well, you're in the perfect place because that's exactly what we will be taking a look at today. Hello and welcome back to Coding with Unity. Today, we will be looking at the math required to make a level up system. And one of my favorite childhood games is RuneScape, so we will be using the formula provided on their wiki to examine what will be required for a scaling XP system. If we take a look at their wiki, we can see that their experience calculation gives us a 10% growth factor per level, and this first provided formula gives us the experience difference between each level, where X is the level starting from 2. So, if we wanted the level 2 required XP, we would input 2 into the formula, which is 1 after subtracting 1 from it, which you can see it does in both of the places where it requires the level. Then, we can perform this formula step by step to see if we can get the experience difference, which is the same as the required XP for level 2. So if we go ahead and open up Notepad, we could work through this formula and make sure we actually understand it before proceeding. So let's start off by setting our x to a value. For our formula, we're going to start with 2, so we'll say x equals 2. And since, as we said before, x is always subtracting 1 from it, we're going to be using 1 instead of typing out the x minus 1 to save a step. So, if we look at this formula, you can see that this first line above the division line has these L brackets on it. These L brackets pretty much work like parentheses, except for it means round down the value between these parentheses. So let's start typing out our formula. We'll call the part above the division line the first pass, and the part below the division line the second pass. So let's say first pass is equal to, since as I said before, the L brackets mean to round down, Let's type out round down and put the rest of it inside of parentheses so we understand better what it is we're doing. And x minus 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1, so we'll just go ahead and put 1. Then we'll say plus 300. Then we need to times it by 2. Then after timesing by 2, we need an exponent value, which is our level minus 1 divided by 7. And the easiest way to type this, we're just going to do it the same way you would do it in code, which is a math.pal. And with math.pal, the first value is the value that's going to be powered, and the second value is the value you want to power it by. And our formula says that we want to power it by 1 divided by 7, since we already did 2 minus 1 equals 1. So this is the first pass of our formula, and then the second pass of our formula is just first pass divided by 4. And we also want to round down the second pass. So let's start working through this formula. The first thing we're going to want to do is do 1 divided by 7, which is if we open up our calculator, we can do 1 divided by 7, which gives us 0 0.1428, we'll round up to 0 0.143. So we'll say 0 0.143. Now let's copy and paste this again and do the next step, which is the math.pal to 0 0.143. So let's get an exponent calculator, which I already have open, and we'll put in 2 and 0 0.143, which gives us a value of 1.104. So let's replace this with 1.104. And then we can copy and paste this again, and we'll do 300 times 1.104. 300 times 1.104 gives us a value of 331.2. So 331.2. Copy and paste this again, and our next step is to add the 1, so it's 332.2. Now we need to round this down, which gives us 332. Then we need to do 332 divided by 4, and round that value down. So we'll say 332 divided by 4, with the round down still on it in case it doesn't give us an integer. Then the final step is 332 divided by 4. Let's do that. We'll take 332 divided by 4 gives us 83. 
So we'll put right here, 83. Our second pass is 83. And if we go back to our level chart, we'll see that level two is required XP and the XP difference is 83. Excellent, we worked through that formula correctly. So I think that'll give us a solid foundation for the next part of what we need to do. And as I already stated, this formula actually gives us the experience difference required per level. So if we reran the formula with a 2 for level 3 instead of a 1 for level 2, we would get a value of 91, which you can see on the chart here. But if we wanted the total required XP for level 3, which is 174, we can take a look at this formula which is the formula needed to calculate the amount of experience needed to reach a certain level, where the level is L. As you can see here, L minus 1 and X equals 1. The main difference in this one and the previous formula is this strange E symbol, which is the 18th letter in the Greek alphabet, Sigma. But in mathematics, it's used for the summation notation, or simply, the sum of the values. In other words, we need to loop through each level up to the levels whose required XP we want and add those values together before we divide by 4, which is the 1 fourth part here. And that will give us the required XP of that level, which is the 83, 174, 276. So if we go back into our notepad, we can take a look at what this more means by actually doing the math. We know the first pass value from level 2 was 332, so when doing the formula for level 3, we need to add the first pass value from the level 3 formula to the first pass value from the level 2 formula before we divide by 4, which will give us the total required XP for that level. So if we were to change this to a 3, and which makes this a 2, we can go through here and make the changes to do the math required to find that. So let's quickly do that. We have 2 divided by 7 now, which gives us 0 0.285714. So let's change this to 285 or 286. And then we can do the exponent of that, which would be 2 and 0.286, which is 1.219. So 1.2. 219, then we times that by 300, 1.219 times 300 gives us 365.7, so 365.7, let's add that by 1, which gives us 366.7, and now let's round that value down to 366, and then let's divide 366 by 4 which gives us 91.5, which you can see that 91.5 is the required XP difference for level three, but we want the totaled level. So if we, instead of doing 366 divided by four, instead we take 366 and add it by 332, which was the value from the first formula we did, which gives us 698, and then we divided 698 by 4 instead, you'll see that we get 174.5, which after we round down 174.5, we get 174, which if we look back at the chart is the required XP for level 3. So excellent. We now know how to do the formula for the level difference and the total required XP for each level. So now, how would we actually convert this into code? Well, we know the formula for the required XP needs to loop through the levels until we reach the level we want the required XP for. So the first thing we'll want to do is write a for loop. So let's go into our Unity environment to test this out and see if we can convert this formula into code. So let's just go into our start function. And so let's write our for loop. The for loop needs to start at 1 and the length needs to be the level that we're currently looking for the XP for, so we'll just put in 4. And if we go and take a look back at our notepad, we need to add our first pass and second pass values as variables so we can store those values for use later. So we'll say int first pass value, or we'll just call it int first pass equals 0, and int second pass equals 0. 
then inside of here we can say first pass is equal to the first half of the formula which if we go back into our notepad we can see it needs to be round down level plus 300 times math.pal2 to the level divided by 7. So let's go back into here and we'll say for the round down we'll say math.floor and instead of i let's call it level cycle so it makes more sense. So we have math.floor level cycle plus our first pass value which if we go back into our notepad we'll see it's level cycle plus 300 and then we need to times it by math.pal then inside of here we need a 2 and then the exponent that we're raising the 2 to is our level divided by 7 so we'll say level cycle divided by 7 this will give us our first pass and then our second pass is going to be first pass divided by 4. Let's run this and see if we get the correct value that we're expecting to get. And to make sure we are, we'll say print second pass. You'll see we got a value of 75 and if we go back into here, you'll see that value is not correct. So let's go back into our code and instead of an equals, it needs to be plus or equal to. And let's see if that'll work. We got a value of 226 for level 4. Let's go into our chart and see if that was right. We need 276, so we obviously did something wrong. Let's go back into our code and figure out what it was. Alright, after messing around with it for a bit, I realized it was just Unity converting our numbers. These need to be floats and not INTs, so we just needed to add a .0f, a .0f, and a .0f. That way our numbers aren't converted during the mathematics so that before it's rounded down and converted to an INT, it's making sure to use doubles and floats to give us a more accurate value. So now if we go back into Unity and click play, we'll see that we print out the correct value for level 4 in the console. You'll see it printed 276. If we go into the chart, it also says 276. So let's try another value. Let's try a much higher value just to confirm this is working. Let's try 95. Let's click play, see what value we get, and confirm it's the correct value inside of the chart. So we got 8, let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So 8,771,558. Let's go into our chart. For level, we're doing level... 95 it's 8771558 going back into unity 8771558 excellent this all seems to be working so now that we have all of this working how could we use this to work in an actual game in the next video we will explore how to do that and hopefully after watching this it will be easier to understand while implementing this formula and using it in a live game. So stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button so you'll be notified when the next video and other videos like it come out. Also, if you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button to show your support. Until next time, have a wonderful day and stay coding!